If tech news makes you lose your mind, please look away. We are not liable for damages that may occur while watching this video. The chip shortage has made it almost impossible to get your hands on basically any piece of consumer electronics at its original retail price. And it's getting worse, of course. What did you think I was gonna say there? It's China? It, it's not Riley. Oh. China has temporarily shut down power to several major manufacturing hubs in an attempt to reduce energy use and carbon emissions. But Intel, Nvidia, Apple, Qualcomm, and other tech companies depend on those hubs for parts. It's a strange strategy for the government to use, to say the least, because it's also affecting nearby residential regions in addition to manufacturing hubs. Traffic lights, those cause global warming, yeah. <laughs> especially red ones. Wouldn't the green ones? Heat, hot, hot, it's fire. Well, Colors. but it's... Watch out, lasers. No, but the green one, the uh, it's it's a higher energy beam. It would, it would use energy. more energy. Keep, keep going, Alex. Additionally, capacitor factories in Malaysia and Indonesia have stopped production due to lockdowns caused by rising COVID cases. So you're gonna want to treat your electronics a bit more carefully than you normally do to help them last longer, which is actually a good thing to do. They have feelings, or they might one day after an update. Facebook is still under fire after a recent Wall Street Journal report uncovered research showing that Instagram wasn't great for kids' mental health. Shocker. <laughs> and while Facebook maintains that their social platforms aren't toxic for teens, they're still pausing development on their distinct kid-focused version of Instagram due to all the pressure. They were doing that? That's terrible. Well, Instagram CEO tweeted about the pause, pointing that the age-appropriate versions of social apps would be preferable to kids breaking through useless age gates on the full versions. But I don't know whether or not that's what he really thinks or if he's just using a filter. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my dad joke. <laughs> Under increasing scrutiny, Facebook is trying to save its brand, putting $50 million towards building its metaverse responsibly by collaborating with policymakers, experts, and industry partners. But it's also kind of shooting itself in the foot with its own research into the psychological effects of using its products. We should probably start treating Facebook a bit like alcohol. What? A little bit can help people connect, but a lot can lead to connecting fists. In my knee in your groin, man. Watch out. I don't want that. I'm, I'm out of control. Had too much of the Facebook rally. Yep. And Tesla is expanding the rollout of its full self-driving beta. More owners can request access to the beta, which requires them to agree to have Tesla monitor their driving behavior for seven days. That's right, Tesla's AI, which is learning how to drive, will assess how you drive to determine if you're safe enough to let it drive. Yeah, totally. Makes loads of sense. Just like Elon and Grimes' kid's name. Whoa, Alex. What? They just broke up. That's too <laughs> soon. How could you write that? I didn't write that. Uh... And also I don't care. <laughs> If you're accepted, your car will assess your driving based on Tesla's five safety factors. Although some testers are noting you can get a pretty high score by driving pretty dangerously. They must have trained their cars with Elon's driving. <laughs> I have no idea if he's a good driver. <laughs> Didn't he like wreck an F1? No, we gotta be charitable. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Volta's Giga Charger which can help you clean up your desk and declutter your workspace by charging four devices simultaneously. They're doing what the EU is trying to do to Apple, consolidate. The Giga comes with either 130 watt or 200 watt configurations and is compatible with all fast charging capable devices. Accordingly, for a device that's all about fast charging, Volta uses express worldwide shipping and comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So check out the Volta Giga Charger at the link down below. Quick bits, they exist in a liminal space, enduring infinitely yet instantly ending. Hmm. Dude, it's so deep. I feel like I channeled Anthony there. <laughs> Anti-cheat provider BattleEye has announced that it too is adding support for the Proton compatibility layer in Linux, meaning that games like Destiny 2, Rainbow Six Siege, and PUBG will now be playable on Steam Deck without horrible performance drops. It's PUBG Battlegrounds, Riley, you got it wrong. Oh, sorry. <laughs> BattleEye's announcement follows a similar one from Epic Games concerning its easy anti-cheat software. Because we have to prove to Nintendo that you don't need a Switch. No. Skyward Sword was a hundred bucks in Canada. Jeez, I'm still upset about it. That's actually why I don't play Switch games. They're too Honestly. expensive. <laughs> Google is rolling out a phone link option for Stadia that allows subscribers to use their Android phone or iPhone as a gamepad to play cloud gaming services on their TV. 
and it's hard to understand why anyone would want that, but it makes some sense as a makeshift extra controller for couch multiplayer. You're gonna want to at least switch off who's stuck with the phone though, cause there's more stuff on there, but it's just gonna be bad. <laughs> Game legend John Carmack has announced that he somehow convinced Oculus to release an unlocked OS build for the discontinued Oculus Go headset, meaning tinkerers can get full root access to do whatever they want. See Facebook? That's how you get people to like you. You just <laughs> give, don't have restrictions, please. Stop being Facebook. <laughs> Samsung killed the Galaxy Note line of phones, but their spirit may live on with the next batch of flagships from the company. Some rumor mongers have released renders of the Galaxy S22 based on leaked specs, which indicate the phone has an S Pen slot on the bottom, just like ye old Galaxy devices of yore. Rejoice, for the pen lives on, you weirdos who liked using a pen the size of a juice box straw. So tiny, what's the point? I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. Like chopsticks on your phone. That's actually, chopsticks are way bigger. That would be good. But Samsung's got even more weirder ideas. Together with Harvard researchers, the company published a scientific paper describing a way to copy neurons from a human brain and paste them into a high density 3D network of solid state memories, which could serve as a shortcut to creating more powerful neural networks. Many observers are pointing out that this is dumb because neural networks are not configured the exact same way as our brains, but They'll feel differently once their Samsung phone scans their mind and assumes their identity by perfectly replicating their thought and speech patterns. Hello, Samsung Alex. You've been replaced. See you later. What? Who said that? I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> Better end this episode and come back on Wednesday for more tech news. It's perfectly safe. Wait, what we said at the start of this.